is going to be the effect of the of Brexit on the regional funds and on the cohesion policy? Well, you know, obviously there's going to be a tightening up. It's, we're going to have to work harder and do more with less and it's going to be a great challenge and it will impact on the regions and the local areas and the peripheral areas much more so than heretofore. So therefore we have to be innovative and clever in trying to find solutions to help businesses uh, do work better and to export goods and so on. All the myriad of things that are going to be affected because of Brexit. What is going to be an effect on Ireland? Huge effect. Uh, I think Ireland is so much more affected than any other country by virtue of the fact that it is an island. Not alone that, by the virtue of the fact that we are still tied, if you so to speak, to uh, the UK via Northern Ireland. Uh, in particular, our exports are going to be very costly. Uh, the tariffs will go on and it will be more difficult and time consuming to go through the UK land bridge. So it's vital to try and make quick connections. Therefore, we were particularly anxious that the French corridor would be opened up to us, notwithstanding using other ports like Rotterdam and so on. Our perishable goods in particular need to get to market very quickly. We have a lot of them along the Atlantic corridor and in Southern Ireland, and we need to get those to the consumers. And that's our focus. Thank you very much. Thanks, Mary. Thank you. Thank you.